Hello everybody, I'm Bram, founder and creator of Stenography, and today we're going to talk about how to use Stenography to turn a plain code file into an explained code file. So let me explain what that means. When you're writing code or reading someone else's code, a lot of the time uh, there is either no documentation or the documentation is out of date to the parent code base because the developers themselves haven't been updating their code. So what Stenography is, is that it's an AI that parses code bases and then use that parse code base to be able to also read the code and explain to you what the code does in plain English, uh, as well as supplying relevant documentation and things like that. So let's say, for example, that we're looking at Autopilot VSC, which is actually the VS Code extension for stenography, which is kind of meta that we'll be taking a look at the code for this. Um, and we can see, you know, let's like say that we just cloned it and this is our first time doing that. We come over into Visual Studio Code and we see, you know, a bunch of, well, not commented code. We see, you know, a bunch of code that does different things. Maybe we're unfamiliar with what the code does, um, but we can use stenography to tell us what this code does. So the thing that we're going to want to do is go into extensions and type in stenography. We're going to want to hit install on this, and then we're going to want to set our API key. So the first thing that we're going to want is our API key. So we're going to go back to Chrome. We're going to go to stenography.dev slash dashboard, and I'm already logged in, um, but you will log in with a sign up. Uh, and then we're going to copy this API key to clipboard. And we're going to go back to stenography and type in set stenography API key. We're gonna copy paste that in, and then that API key is added to our session. So let's see what happens when we go back to our file now. We can see at the bottom left here that it's fetching from stenography autopilot, and it's adding these small gray lines that don't actually add any bloat to our code file itself. These are what are called code lenses. So they're a layer above the, the code, um, and you can see that it's telling you what this code is doing, right? So this constructor is listening for changes in the configuration of the workspace. When a change happens, it will fire an event that can be listened to by other extensions, which is, you know, when the con on change configuration. Stenography is also smart enough to kind of split big code blocks into smaller code blocks and like find code blocks that it has a better chance at describing than others. Um, if this code is checking if the stenography API key has been set. If it hasn't, it will return an error message, which is exactly what's happening. Um, so we can take this a little bit further too. So let's say this runs every single time that you save, right? So every single uh, time that you go to a valid file, we can see that it automatically uh, added these, these doc strings basically to our, our function. Um, and so this get file type is saying that it's taking the file name and splitting it to an array. But like I said, it runs on save, right? So if we go you know, dot to lowercase or something like that and hit save again, it'll actually recalculate in the background, and then the AI will have the newer updated code of what this is doing. So now it's saying that it's converting the code to lowercase, which was the thing that we just added, which is pretty cool, right? So the other two things that we can do is that we can commit it to file. Let's say that you want to share it with other people in your GitHub repo, um, and this will actually comment the, the, uh, the thing into your file, so you can commit this to Git if you're interested in doing something like that. Or, Let's say that you wanted to just share it. So you can hit the share button here and it'll open it up in carbon.now.sh. It does have problems with like really big code blocks because it's all up here in this URL. So that's something that I'm actively working on to fix. But let's say that you just wanted to tweet that or something like that. Uh, this will automatically uh, write the comment for you so it's really easily shareable. You can you know, get this to gist.github.com or anything like that. Um, so stenography itself is, as I mentioned, I'm from the dashboard, uh, an API, and it, you know you can build your own tools off of this. I think the Visual Studio Code extension is the one that developers are going to be the most interested in using, but if you have your own API key, you can build your own tools off of Autopilot. You can use your own tools off of the root API as well. Uh, you can also just run it in here to just see what's happening. So this is some prime number checking thing. Um, and then as you can tell as well, stenography generates some Stack Overflow questions for you, um, and it's asking if I'm a human, which is debatable because stenography itself is an API, right? So you can <laughs> AI. Um, so that's stenography. Um, thank you for watching, and that's how we turned a plain file into an explained file. Have a good one.